All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, we're going to answer the question is, what's the best CRT TV for my retro gaming? All right, let's check it out. Okay, y'all. So, if you want to get a CRT TV and you want a good one, the thing is this to remember. Okay, they're old. These things have been used, abused. You don't know. Unless it's coming from a brand new box, all these TVs will have some kind of flaw, some little discoloration. Each one is going to look different from the other one. You can't compare them all to each other because they were all have a different life, different manufacturer, different everything, okay? So, first thing is to is to get a CRT TV is to accept it for as it is, okay? Unless you're going to go through and change time or rebuild it completely with brand new parts it's gonna just operate the way it's gonna operate okay all right so that with that said let's check it out over here on the left side i have a huge toshiba 36a43 now this has composite rf s video and component cables and it is awesome it looks good it plays good sounds good but the problem is it's so huge that it's gonna stay there in that position it's been there in that position now for almost a year a year and a half something like that that i've had it once i put it there that was it i haven't moved i moved everything else around it except for that so if you're going to get a huge crt tv you need to be dedicated to it you need to be, understand that it's going to take up space and that if you if you ever have to get a repair and you got to take it out, man, it's going to suck just as much as it sucked when you moved it in, okay? But the benefits about it is if you're like me and you're playing your favorite shoot 'em ups and arcade games, you got this huge screen to look at and it provides <laughs> this overall all factor that's just crazy crazy. But um it sucks to move it. Now, a big TV like that works great with the Wii, with the Nintendo, with the PlayStation 2, PS1, Sega Saturn, through S-Video, looks amazing. Now, I put my retro, HD Retro Vision cables with it also, and it looks even better. It's just beautiful, red, green, blue. But, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that, y'all. Sorry. I keep forgetting to drink some water. But, let's move on. Now, up here I have a 20-inch Panasonic. This is a VCR, you know, CRT TV combo. And this one is great for being just basically the right size. It's 20 inches. It has a good screen. It looks good. It's easy to move, easy to pack. It only has a single mono, you know, composite input in the front and RF in the back. So that does keep you from getting a better picture with the various games but composite looks actually pretty darn good with every game system yeah sega genesis it has the worst looking composite signal but hey it's okay it still plays and it still works and it still to me looks good even with the blurriness whatever but if you're going to want to play a playstation 3 nah it's going to look so bad it's just going to look bad I've tried it. It really sucks. That 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 just ugly. And I've used new, you know, composite cables for it and everything, factory and all that good stuff, and it looks like that. So no, I played PlayStation 2 on it. It looks awesome. PlayStation 2 looks beautiful with the composite, and you can always. Uh, sorry, I've been a little sore throat with sickness. You can always get external speakers like I got down there on the bottom next to the BBM on either side and use that so you can get beautiful surround sound from um, all your systems that are capable of dual audio, you know, or right and left. Because, of course, you know, if you're playing with original Nintendo, it only has mono RCA, you know, coming out sound and one, you know, chrome on the side and that's it. It kind of sucks. But it still looks better than the RF feed and sounds better. So I always recommend you using it that way, the way I got it hooked up now with the single mono audio and the just a regular composite in feed. 
<coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, if you choose to get a smaller monitor and you say, or a computer, I mean, CRT TV like the ones I have over here playing Donkey Kong Country, that's a little Sony 13 inch. Now, that one looks great, but it takes up a little more space than your traditional 13 inches because it is a Sony. Sony, for some reason, has always been a little fatter and a little bulkier than any other model out there. Now, they do look awesome because, as you can see, the Wii Donkey Kong Country right there just looks beautiful. I mean, I'm not even adjusting the camera. I just turned it on, and look how beautiful Donkey Kong Country looks. Yeah, and it looks even better in person, so camera doesn't do it justice. But if you're going to play maybe the Nintendo on it with Duck Hunt, that small of a screen really sucks because you can't really just aim and shoot with the duck gun uh, you know what i mean the zapper you just can't just go and it ain't gonna be the same as going like that to the big screen when you when you're aiming at this big screen you can miss the duck even on the 20 inch you can miss the duck but on these smaller 13 inches and nine inches down here yeah it 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 sucks because you're not gonna enjoy it so for the nintendo Every other game is okay, but Duck Hunt, because the screen is so small, you can't enjoy it, even on a 13-inch. So, any game that doesn't have to have shooting like that, it's going to be fine for a 13-inch or a little 9-inch, okay? All that's going to work great. You're going to enjoy yourself. It doesn't take up a lot of room. You can actually put it in the cabinet. I recommend you always put some computer fans to, you know, vent out the hot air you know nicely so that you don't fry your systems if you're going to have it in a cabinet and trust me you can find an adapter that it plugs into that computer fans and so uh off of amazon something you I, I, you can make it but yeah um right there on the bottom i'm showing playstation 2 on the two smaller tvs and as you can see it does look beautiful it, it looks great and the only thing that sucks is that you got to be up close to it to see the screen because anything that's two to three feet or this distance from the camera i can't play from this distance so that's another factor about going with a very small tv it has to be two feet from you basically so you're gonna have to be sitting at the desk and that's what it designed i know y'all probably say well that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be on my desk as a little mini retro system yeah that's that's awesome you can get a mister and use its composite you know new adapter now that they just came out like like a week ago and use that to play every single game system with a mister on the desk all cool with a bluetooth you know wireless controller because i got this one right here recently from um eight bit dough and i know they got a a bluetooth one with another bluetooth adapter that you can use on a computer pc so a mister with a little small tv like these on the bottom Oh man, that, that would be great because it'll be just for the desktop. But um, for me, I have the room and the space. So I have all this craziness and I have all this. I don't recommend this. I don't recommend going crazy like this unless you have the room, okay? But if you don't have the room, get one that, that works with you. And if you're gonna spend the money and, and get one off of eBay, whatever, make sure that um, it guarantees that you can return it or get your money if it doesn't come out good i know ebay is real good here in the united states so far every time i've had an issue which was only twice in the last 10 purchases that i made on ebay it's come out great um, they gave me my money back no matter what so yeah ebay is a good place uh, i know it's not available in every country that watches me and i preach all the love and views from every country that does watch me but uh, yeah, yeah, go out there and get a TV that's gonna work for you. But just understand that it it each one has its limitation to whatever system that you're gonna use on it, okay? Because if you're like me and you like those fighting games and shooting games, it's kind of hard to squint your eyes to have to see the screen. But at the same time, I don't have to move it or I don't I, you know I don't have to keep it on the desk. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, I hope this helps you. So until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.